So sometimes great ideas are so obvious in hindsight. So let's explore this. When John McCarthy created Lisp, he created around the Lisp abstraction. And the Lisp abstraction was very innovative at the time. Uh, it allowed for uh, powerful natural recursion and uh, uh, common access to, to data. But the Lisp abstraction was a leaky abstraction. Uh, the con cell that was uh, the part of the uh, list, linked list implementation was very visible to the user, and this limited its applicability. In creating Clojure, uh, Rich uh, re-envisioned Lisp around the sequence abstraction. The sequence abstraction trades the car and cutter of the con cell uh, for first and rest of a sequence derived from the data structure. He applied this to lists, vectors, maps, and sets, and also uh, whatever sort of data type you wanted to create, as long as you create the, the sequence abstraction. Now, I want to highlight the difference between the data interface, which is on the left, and the, the data implementation, uh, which are listed on the right. Uh, the persistent tree map uh, is one that stuck out to me. How many people here are familiar with the persistent tree map? More than I expected, but not that many. Uh, more people will probably know it by its other name, uh, sorted map. Uh, sorted map has always given me sort of a problem. It's a great data structure. Uh, there's also a sorted set, which I'm going to allow for, for time. Uh, but uh, these data structures provide persistent uh, maps and sets uh, with keys returned in order uh, and uh, prescribed by a sorting function. But the problem I have is every time somebody says sorted map, I hear sorted map. <laughs> now, I think we know where this is going. No closure talk would be complete <laughs> without a definition. And so here we are, sorted, involving ignoble actions and motives, arousing moral distaste and contempt. So what would a sorted map be? <laughs> well. It would be a data structure of corrupted values. <laughs> so we have many features. Uh, one of them is data compression, lossy data compression. Really, when it gets full, it just stops accepting new values. It's also just plain lossy. Uh, values go in, values come out. And they're similar, but they're not the same values. <laughs> now, don't worry. It's type safe. Uh, <laughs> sorted maps will never change the type of the data values you put in. And moreover, it's spec compliant. If you create a sorted map with a, a, a specified closure spec, uh, you, it will mangle the values according uh, to uh, something that would comply with the spec. It's also, uh, also often immutable. I think in closure we get too comfortable with immutability. So <laughs> sorted maps will, at their discretion, mutate ancestors. Uh, <laughs> And to protect you from the horror of this, uh, sorted maps uh, provide a developer-friendly uh, interface. When you print them out, they print the values that you'd expect. And they reserve the corrupted values for programmatic access. <laughs> so believe it or not, there is a, an in-progress implementation of sorted maps. I welcome any contributors to add their detractions, I mean enhancements, to the implementation. So I think we can all agree that this is clearly the missing piece of closure. <laughs> well, perhaps it's not the missing piece of closure, uh, and perhaps not so obvious. Uh, but many of the uh, insights and uh, features that are in closure weren't obvious uh, before uh, closure was created. And perhaps this is an odd way to say thanks, uh, but uh, there's a, a tremendous amount of insight that went into closure, and so. Uh, hopefully, by abusing the language, I was able to highlight uh, the, the features and insights that, that uh, Clojure offers. Uh, so I want to thank Rich uh, for the uh, personal sacrifice, the hammock time, the insight, uh, the persistence, and uh, the care that he has put into making Clojure. So thank you, Rich. <laughs>